all along the way during the negotiations between the Republicans and Joe Biden about the raising of the debt ceiling, the Republicans have been asking for a lot of stuff. Some of it is just wild policy goals that has nothing to do whatsoever with the economy. They've completely discounted the possibility of things like raising taxes. Obviously, their approach is protecting <coughs> the rich. They want to go even beyond just raising revenue off the rich, though. They want to protect them for the financial crimes that they commit. And it looks like Joe Biden might actually be willing to play ball on some of that. Specifically, they have been seeking to roll back some of the additional funding that the IRS is slated to receive. And it looks like Biden is going to agree with them. As it stands right now, according to the New York Times, they're going to take 10 billion of the $80 billion Congress already approved last year for an IRS crackdown on high earners and corporations that evade taxes, though that provision was still under discussion. So they're gonna cut it effectively by 10 billion according to the last deal. I'm sure that number won't go up between now and when they finally finalize it. Democrats have previously championed the initiative. Nonpartisan scorekeepers have said the funding would reduce the budget deficit by helping the government collect more of the tax revenue it's owed. But Republicans have denounced it, claiming falsely that the money would be used to fund an army of auditors to go- Debt ceiling emergency pushed Biden to battle with restrictions on his executive power. Progressives want Biden own action without interference. The White House is not certain it can or should. When Congress rejected to pardon student debt, Commander in Chief Joe Biden declared he would handle business single handedly. When politicians hesitated at delaying a removal suspension, his government did so single handedly. Confronting congressional breakdown on immigration, Biden delivered a series of executive orders on the subject. Today, as time matures brief for a debt threshold agreement and left-wingers appeal to Biden to avoid and circumnavigate Congress and settle the issue through executive orders, the long-lasting feud in his premiership between conservatism and executive influence is at a whole innovative paradigm. His eagerness to drive the boundaries of presidential power at a tactical instant previously is reassuring progressives to request that he invoke the Constitution to neglect the debt ceiling. I quote the president could say he's following his constitutional obligation to make the payments that Congress has instructed him to make, said Representative Ro Khanna, Democrat California, one of dozens of Democratic lawmakers who signed a letter urging Biden to resolve the crisis on his own. Then let the Republicans take it to court. Republicans are. That is the only excuse for this, is allowing for more elite crime. One would think that Republicans who say they're tough on crime and say that they're against the elites would maybe be willing to listen to that sort of message. Okay, so this is not about deficit reduction. In fact, it's the exact opposite because for there's different estimates by different organizations, all nonpartisan. I wrote about this in my book. The book is called Justice is Coming, where for every dollar that you cut from the IRS, you actually cost the US government at a minimum $6. Some estimates have it as high as $24. So if you cut 10 billion from the IRS budget, you're actually gonna put 60 to $240 billion hole in the deficit. You're gonna make the deficit worse, because their job is to go get tax revenue from tax cheats, people who are doing tax fraud. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.